every sun. I am the ambivalence of open spaces. I am the haste in mountain breezes. I am the heavy force, the Russian crest of saltwater horizons. I am the trouble with hearts. Doubting the casements of your ribcage, I leap from it. And there among the clouds, I leave a single indelible bloody hoof print. I am the bending canvas, the enriching blue ocean, the marching pavement sky. Any world beyond this is still within my scope, for I hold the glass which allows the readings of galaxies. I am the lens itself, the bearer withal. The compass proves nothing. None escapes my route, for I am every pathway, every passageway. And my iron tongue is vaulted at its core and houses the stories of a thousand richly decorated Bibles, telling the composite fabric of infinitely intersecting human fables and histories. For I am the dead. And at your gates I wait for you and I pull the trigger of me to die into you. Unfolded thus, I am wishing the silver cannons of your gaze would pummel and flatten my obnoxious and buddy heart. For I am melted, so let the poison darts of your eyes slip in softly to my temples and carry me tumbling deep into the sand. Mixing under, let me graft my body to the roots of palms and fir trees and settled up through the veins of the trees Push me out again, as a nut or a fruit, so burdened with my dedication to you that I again drop to the earth and melt rapidly, deeply into its environment, flowing endlessly with the subterranean cosmos. At peace, I again ride the currents of lava up through the strata and bursting the crust of the earth. I am a giant spray of orange, and my cloud darkens the sun. I destroy the continent. My body rains blobs of scorching lava all over you, and you are now a city. Your people are your soul, and your memory of me is a box. Your land is destroyed. At last my love is proven. The house around the box is encased in stone. There are seven steps leading down to a window. I crush the roof of your city. It falls under the ocean. I'm sorry I killed you, and I wake up crying. The lake is an eye, but whose? It lies.